frustrating, but it's a crucial tool. I'm Lucy Hawkins on BBC News Now. Live from London, this is BBC News. Take a look at what happened. An assassination attempt on Donald Trump as he speaks at an outdoor election rally in Pennsylvania. A bullet ripped through his ear, says the former US president, but he survived without serious injuries. Thomas Crooks. The FBI says this is the gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Crooks. It's being reported that explosives were found in his vehicle and at his home. We do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. Our other main headlines, Carlos Alcaraz wins the Wimbledon men's singles title for a second year running, beating Novak Djokovic, denying him a record eighth win. And just three hours to go before England face Spain in the finals of the Euros in Berlin, and England fans believe. England will win tonight, and I've never been so sure of anything in my life. Hello and welcome to BBC News. We start in the US. Donald Trump has survived an assassination attempt at a rally in Pennsylvania. He has now left hospital. He has also been posting statements on social media. Let me tell you, the latest one from Donald Trump said, we will fear not, but instead remain resilient in our faith and defiant in the face of wickedness. Our love goes out to the other victims and their families. Well, let me start this hour by showing the moment that Donald Trump was shot. Take a look at what happened. Oh. There you hear the shots ring out and people shouting duck. The FBI says the gunman...